bucket list adventures. Hi. So we have officially started our road trip home. It's fun, but it's also really sad to say goodbye every single time. because look at how beautiful it is. Come on, Bella. Come on, baby. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Oh my goodness. some train tracks down there. Look, I'll zoom in. There you go. Beautiful out here. Yeah. And then this is from the other side. Ooh. So pretty. Wow. these little small historic towns. I know, these are beautiful. as much as we can when we road trip oh, yeah. so that we can actually okay my thing is that like when you're on a 80 mile an hour highway everyone's in such a hurry yeah and, they go 10 over the limit and they're all up your butt like they want to like they like it or something yeah and my thing is that like I travel to go experience the world to go see it not just 
to, okay, I'm there, you know, kind of thing. And that's how the highways are. The, or the, yeah. That's cool. That so, mailbox stuff that he had there was a wood target of a dog catching red freezing. That was so cool. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. So we like to go see things like the cute little mailbox. Or a lot of the time on these uh, side streets or these two lane highways, we see more animals than we would on the interstate. Yes. And we like to go see that kind of thing. And a lot of the time, probably not here, but a lot of the time you'll see like roadside attractions or like someone setting up a fruit stand or something. And more than likely we don't buy anything, but it's cool to get out, walk around to check out whatever little oh, yeah. stand they have. And then look at this view. You guys, this is like perfect. And here, if you want to slow down, take it a little slower, and enjoy the view more, you can on the highway. You can't. No, on the highway, it's all hey, hurry up and get there. Yes. So, we love tr these like two lane highways or these side streets, and even yes. some of these stops, we will stop at a lot of them to mm -hmm. kind of look. And yeah, it's just Perfect. And yes, so this is probably the best part of road tripping, or one of them anyway. Mm -hmm. I love these roads for many different reasons, but uh, it's just so much better than just driving on the highway or on the interstate. Like, oh, we're there super fast, but we missed the entire world. Yeah. What's the point of going on a trip if you're not going to take the time to enjoy it, huh? Exactly. I mean, unless you're on a time constraint or something, like, if we were on more of a time constraint getting up here, then we would have just taken the quickest route yeah. to get to the wedding. But usually we try and plan so that we have enough time to go explore and hang out. Because, I mean, you're just, like, right here with nature. Yeah. Which is so beautiful. This is my whole new world situation right here. Hmm. I love this.
I'm going to enjoy the rest of this drive, but we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Peace. So the scenery changed. Definitely did. We've been on the road for a couple hours now. Yeah, about four, maybe just over four hours. Yeah. We've been following the river. Mm -hmm. It's way down there, so I don't think you guys can see it. But we've been following the river all the way through Oregon, and it's just been beautiful. But now it's starting to get more... It's still green, but it's more like grasslands. Yeah. Farm country almost. Yes, and very flat. Which is a different kind of pretty. But... I definitely like being right in the middle of the forest like we were earlier. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. So we're just chilling and driving this road. And we've actually been blasting country music. Mm -hmm. Makes the trip go by quick and get to sing along to every song. And uh, Amanda, if you're watching this, yes. Country music rocks. Is that something she says? Yeah, we'll talk about it when the camera's not rolling. Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> but yeah, we're just chilling. We're actually gonna meet Amanda in a few couple of hours for dinner in Idaho. So yeah, when we hit Idaho, I'll film a little bit more and can see that unless the scenery changes again before then. Okay, so this is one of the many, this is one of the many reasons that I love Oregon so much, but we went from the flat gra grassland to all these trees again, and there are just like so many different landscapes in the same states. It's like, I mean, that is just beautiful. All those hills and mountains. Then you got beaches on the west coast. You got a lot of mountains and forest here. And then if you go down to southeastern Oregon, you get that desert that you want. I honestly feel like I could live in Oregon. If I could choose to live in a different part of Oregon all four seasons, I would. I would live on the <laughs> southeast during the winter time when it's coldest because it'd be nice and cool. I would live on the coastal part during the summer because, oh my god. In the springtime, I'd live in like the northern Oregon. And then in fall, it would be like central Oregon. <laughs> Just because they're all, they all have their own beauty at different times of the year, too. Yeah. So we didn't quite make it to Idaho. We actually have a little bit yeah, before several hours. Yeah, yeah. Before we hit yeah. Idaho, well, it's only three hours to Boise. Yeah. So it's probably only like an hour and a half or two hours. But we got a little bit. That's but fun. the landscape changed again, so I had to show you. Back to the country music. So. Awesome. So we are out of Oregon. We're not quite in Idaho yet. Yeah, this is just like the in-between land of... No man's uh, land, I guess. I don't know. Exactly. But I think we are almost in Idaho. You We're see that Idaho. sign? Not quite. Our... Now we are. We are in Idaho. Yes. So we're meeting my friend Amanda for dinner. It's a little bit later than I told her it would be. Sorry, Amanda. Uh, but, you know, that kind of happens on the road sometimes. Yep. So. You told her about seven. It'll be, it'll probably be seven when we get well, there. Yeah, but this morning when I talked to her, I told her about six. Uh, I'm like six or six thirty. So, it'll be a little bit later than I told yeah. her. Oh, but that's okay. 
at least I get to see her. So I haven't seen her in like a year. Probably over a year, How actually. Than that? Didn't she move for a weekend? Yeah, she moved for us. Years. Dang. Time flies. <laughs>